Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my 2018 budget, so I thought I would take you along through the process. I am using my brand new budget stickers along with the older um, budget setup as well, so you guys can see how I use those together. I am using an Erin Condren notebook, but you can use any notebook that you like. I will leave the information to this one down below if it is still available. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I already have 2016 and 17 in this planner so I love the idea of having all of my years in one place that way I can take a peek at um, what has changed throughout the past um, so I am definitely going to use this until it is finished and you guys can see there's many more years to come in this um, notebook so I love that all right so on the left hand side I'm actually going to use one of my goal mason jars stickers so um, a lot of people use this for weight tracking because it does come with 1 through 50 um, it also has like a double zero at the bottom here this is a newer version um, there used to only be one color format and now these are going to be coming in all the colored um, chevron glitter format that my other mason jar stickers come in so um, I am going to use this to keep track of the budget for 2018. I think I want to put 2018 up here though, so I'm going to grab some washi. All right, I actually found these gold um, alpha stickers, so I thought that these would be perfect to write in or just place budget right at the top here. Hopefully I have all of the letters. You guys can see I actually use these stickers quite a bit. I love alpha stickers. Um, I got these at target a long time ago so i don't think that they'll still be available um you guys know the target dollar spot changes like every single year um but every now and then i can find th things like this from the past um, so you never know. Um, I'm always stocking it to find stuff like this as well. So, all right, I think that that looks great. So we'll just put that right at the end there. So budget. Um, and then why don't we go ahead and grab a little bit of washi. I'm gonna use this gray, like silver toned one um, because on the left hand side, that orange kind of, um, didn't pop as much as I would have liked it with the golden budget. So I think that this will make the stickers contrast just a little bit better. Um, and then I'm just gonna use the ruler to tear off the washi here. All right, yay. All right, and then I'm just gonna put down 2018 right on top. Yeah, that looks so much better. I almost want to redo that, but I'm going to keep it as it is. I think it looks okay, but this definitely looks a lot better. And 2018 is going to be a little bit more important, so I know exactly what my goals are for the year ahead. Awesome. All right, love that. All right, now I'm going to put down my goal stickers. I'm going to use the mason jar um, to keep track of all of my like living expenses, my other expenses, things like that, and how much um, I'm going to try and um, allocate to each of those things. And then I'll put my goal sticker, let's put it right on top here. I think that will be perfect. And today is definitely the day to start my budget. Perfect. And then we'll put get it done right here. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and write some of this out. All right, so for my goal for the budget of the year, I think I'm gonna write in um, how much I would like to make each month or maybe a yearly goal. I haven't actually decided that yet. Um, what I have decided um, is my category. So we'll go ahead and write those in and I'm gonna go ahead and use the numbers to categorize them as well. So number one is going to be my living expenses because that is the what I actually have to make in order to live. So um, that 
um, includes like groceries, gas, um, insurance, anything that I actually need to pay every single month. I need to make that a priority. And then for number two are going to be my Etsy expenses. So everything that I need to spend for um, Etsy, um, that includes like shipping costs, um, like packages, um, my sticker sheets, all of the Etsy expenses will go into there. Um, so I will put in a total of how much um, I need to make in order to reach those goals. Um, number three is going to be other expenses. So these are things like um, going to Target, um, besides like grocery shopping, um, like getting clothing, anything that is a little bit extra, I put into the other category. Now I actually do have like an extra category as well, but um, that um, I might change. So why don't we go ahead and put down number four. Um, and that is going to be like surprise expenses. So if for some reason I need to get my tires um, changed or if I um, book a plane ticket, anything that I don't allocate to living or Etsy will go into the surprise. So that's like bigger purchases, not just like, um, you know, I want a pair of shoes. This is something that actually came up and I have to pay for. Um, I also have a savings um, category as well and like I said I did have um, an extra but extras kind of go in the other section so I'm gonna leave number five blank for now because I may think of a different category that I want to do um, besides savings um, I'm gonna put down several of, of them actually and I'll come back to the list and see if I have forgotten something since I am in front of the camera I don't have anything um, in front of me so I'm just gonna write down savings at the bottom here and like I said if I do have something else come up I will write those in there on the left hand side here I'm going to write down January through December and write in the actual total of how much I've actually spent each month and see it if it has reached my goal or it's less than or more so that's what my goal is going to be the actual amount of what I want to spend each month and um, not go over that number. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write all of that down here. All right, perfect. So that came together really well. So that is going to be the start of my budget. I will figure out numbers later. Um, so why don't we go ahead and start putting our stickers down. Now I'm actually going to start on the following page because I like to use this page as a reflection page or kind of like a journaling page to write in um, notes that happen throughout the month, what things came up, why I either went over budget or um, how I um, was able to to stay under budget. So that's how I like to use this page. Um, so let's go ahead and put our stickers down. So I'm gonna start with putting down um, the brand new January monthly. So I decided to make this because um, I do like the idea of actually keeping track of when my bills are due. Um, so these are actually like full sticker sheets. So this came off the first page here. Um, sorry, it is the first time that I am using these. So I wanna make sure that everything lines up correctly. So I'm just putting it right at the top of the page. Now, if you're using a regular notebook um, or anything like that, don't worry about trying to line it up. Really, I'm not lining it up against anything. You could put it anywhere you like. Now the second one is the bottom half of the actual um, monthly kit. So it, again, another large sticker sheet. Now I just line this up um, at the bottom of the calendar here and just kind of press it up against it. Um, perfect. And you can see this one fits perfect in the Erin Condren notebook, um, even covers up the bottom of the line there. And then um, at the bottom of this sheet, there are little icon stickers because this is a smaller um, like calendar size. So there's gas, money, house, phone, 
groceries, a camera, car, um, electric or light bulb, and airplanes. And then there are these teeny little boxes. Um, I have been using a bullet journal a lot lately, so I am getting so used to writing small. But if there is anything that I want to cover up, I thought that these would be perfect to use as, as well. Or if um, you change the time or your um, bank takes um, out your credit card at another date, you can just lift these up because these are all removable. So I thought that those would be really nice and handy to put in as well. So before I actually write in all of my information, I'm going to go ahead and put down my budget side as well. So I like to put this on the um, reverse page so I can see them together. Now, um, the budget has just come out with a customizable version as well. So I've customized my own um, where I have like an Etsy expenses, my living expenses, and then I've also left this one blank for my other expenses. Um, but um, all of the other ones right now, you can get um, either a blank format at no extra cost or already um, like done headers also at no extra cost. But if you do want to customize them, it is just a dollar extra and you can even customize all of the top headers, the living expenses, the budget, the total income. So you guys can see here, I decided to customize it to what I make right now. Um, so my Etsy um, total, my tips because I do wait tables as well, um, my um, sticker bundles on Crate Joy, YouTube, and then um, the the gain and loss on the left and then the actual spent and total income up top. So let's go ahead and put this down. If you guys have any questions on any of that, definitely let me know down below. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on these as well um, to see if there is something more customizable that I can make for you guys. I'd love to do that. All right, so this is just like um, putting down a header on your Erin Condren. Um, it fits like the width of a notebook. So like I said, it doesn't have to be any particular notebook at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my living expenses down on the left-hand side here. I like to see all the things that I actually have to pay for um, first. And of course, Etsy is very important and you can see it has a long list of expenses all on its own. Um, sticker papers, the mailers, ink, um, plastic bags, um, even all of my Michaels purchases go in this section. And you can see there are a ton of extra spaces that I can write in. Now there's only two on the left here, but there is a long section that I can extend it if I need to. So why don't I'm gonna go ahead and put down February um, as well. That way we have all of the stickers down. Um, and then I'll go back on January and fill in some of the expenses um, monthly so you guys can see how I will be doing that. And then I will be coming out with new ones of these every month. So March should be out at the end of January. Um, and then at the end of February, April should be out and things like that. So hopefully um, I will be getting these out in time for you guys to purchase them before um, the actual month comes around. I know I haven't been the best of it in the past, but these budget ones are already out and I just come out with new designs now. So um, for now, all of the old 2017 designs are still available, um, but I have been coming out with a second version in um, 2018 as well. You guys can see Lily here has been jumping up um, this whole time, so I get a little bit distracted by her, but I'm going to let her stick up here um, for now unless she sticks her head in a couple more times. But um, all right, so we're almost done with putting these down. You guys can see it is super easy really it's only just a couple of stickers so very fast and there you have it all of your um, budget is already laid out for you and just so easy and ready for you guys to write in your whole budget so I absolutely love that very pretty February is just so gorgeous um, and then January as well I love that the January um, header is here and then the budget is on the right hand side I think that that's just perfect all right so let's go ahead and show you um, how I will be setting up um, my 
calendar for budgeting. All right, I'm actually going to use all of these bottom ones to keep track of um, my Etsy um, money and my Crate Joy. So I'm gonna put these guys down all down on Tuesday. That way I know that this is an actual payment that I'm receiving rather than um, what is going out. I think that that's going to be very helpful. Again, this is a brand new calendar for me, so I'm just thinking of what is going to be best right now, but this may change next month. So if you guys wanna see an updated um, budget planning, definitely let me know. So I'm putting these all down on Tuesday. And then Crate Joy, I think all comes out on the 22nd in my account, so I'll put that down here. Perfect. And then I'll move this one. All right, so I'm gonna use the little light bulb for my health insurance, which is due on the first here. I'm also going to use the other one for electricity, and that one is due on the 28th. Um, internet is due on the third. My rent is due on the first as well, but it never comes out on the first. It always comes out on the fifth. So I'm gonna put two little houses for that. Um, I also have a credit card due on the eighth. So I'm just gonna use a little money sign for that guy. And I think that is all of my expenses so far. Um, of course I have gas, groceries, things like that, but those will come in when I actually go out and get the gas and so I can actually write that down as it comes up. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my um, budget for 2018 and maybe got some inspiration to start your own budget this year. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!